Welcome to our newsletter. Today, I'm gonna to be talking a little bit about color theory and also composition later on. To begin, I have my own little color wheel I put together. <laughs> and we have all of the colors that we normally use in any painting. These probably look very familiar. We have red, yellow, blue, and then we have green, orange, and purple. Now. These three main colors here, the bigger ones, these are our primaries. So it's red, yellow, and blue. I'm sure you guys all know that from preschool, kindergarten, whenever. Um, and then we have our secondary colors, which are orange, green, and purple. Now, obviously you get the secondaries by mixing up two primaries. So again, yellow and red make orange, yellow and blue make green, and green and blue and red make purple. <laughs> So we like to have a balance of these in paintings. So for instance, um, complementaries are opposites on the color wheel. So we have maybe blue and orange. Those are complements. We have yellow and purple. We like to have a balance of those because anytime you have a complement um, in a painting next to another color, it's going to make the painting pop. So I actually have an example that I'll show you in just a little bit. Um, but before I do that, I do want to go over uh, what happens when you mix a black color and white. So I chose blue as my example. So we begin with blue, and this is going to be called um, our tints. When you add white to a pigment, it's going to be referred to as a tint. So here we have that. It's just a seven scale one. So blue, and then slowly add white. There's our tint. Again, down here, I used blue again, added a little bit of black. This is going to be called a shade. So anytime someone says that, you'll now know. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to talk a little bit about composition next. I have a piece here that was inspired by my older sister. Um, and it has, like I said before, we have complements in here. So we have blues and we have oranges. Now with composition, I like to make sure, you want to make sure that you have lots of flow going. You don't want to be centered on one thing. So here we have do, we do have this main subject, which is our sisters on the swings. And we have the ropes leading up to the trees, and we have these trees going across. So your eye is very, it's being pushed in certain directions. Um, so I hope, I hope this was helpful, and I hope you can take some of this back home when you're painting by yourself or with your friends or if you come into Canvas and Cabernet. Um, thank you so much again. Bye.